Welcome back to another video where today we're going over update 4.0.1 for Battlefield 2042. This is quite a small one, but there are a few changes which will have big implications for how the game feels and plays. So let's get straight into the changes, the big, the small and the stealth that you may not have known. First off, we have some small AI soldier changes where they should now spawn correctly during the prologue stages of 2042. I'm assuming this means the tutorial stage where people saw a helicopter with an AI glitched inside it. Seemed a little odd, that's been fixed now. As for audio bugs, an issue has been resolved where voice lines remain scrambled after exiting the vicinity of an X6 infiltration device. I've had this a couple times, I've been really confused because my either squadmates comms have been scrambled or the overall team speak has been scrambled after exiting the radius of an infiltration device. Good to see this has been fixed because it does kind of mess with game flow, but that's sorted now. Talking about the X6 as well, there's been a bit of nuance added to the noise emitted from it, which should eliminate the fact that it used to make a static continuous noise, which was slightly annoying. And when there were multiple in one area, it used to overload a little bit and there'd be too much noise. So that has been all sorted now. The X6 is where it should be in terms of audio design. Now let's head on to gadgets, where firstly we have some issues with the claymore that have been resolved. The sensor no longer triggers through walls sometimes, I've had this a couple times where I've been hit by one where I shouldn't have been, good to see that resolved. And also a weird one where your crosshair was oversized while placing it and that's now been sorted. Moving on, the amount of replenished health for the repair tool has been reduced by 15% per second. This is a really solid change because I found it really hard as an engineer to take out vehicles when they've had an engineer by them, repairing them at all times. Now it should be a little easier and they shouldn't be able to regain health at a faster rate and basically keep them invincible. The tracer dart has been buffed back up to around 16 seconds down from 12 seconds when it's been shot. And also drivers who are in vehicles now always get a warning in the HUD about incoming missiles if they've been hit by a tracer dart, whereas before it was a little bit finicky. An issue where Soflam targets on neutral vehicles, ones that have no players in them, were being shared across both teams has been resolved. This is good to see. I've seen a couple of vehicles being designated by Soflam. Didn't know that they were the enemy team possibly so flaming that, but now there's no confusion. An issue of not being able to place the insertion beacon when you're within smoke has been resolved as well. So if you want to rush into smoke and place one down amidst enemies or without them knowing, you can now go for that. Camilla Blasco has received a similar fix with her X6 infiltration device as it can now also be placed within smoke. Also, it's good to note that she will no longer be hidden sometimes from the minimap when firing unsuppressed weapons. Dice state that you're stealthy, but you're not that stealthy. The Specialist Crawford has been hit by a pretty substantial nerf as his repair trait has gone from 100% bonus repair to 40%. A change that a lot of C5 player mains have been asking for has been finally added as the shoot down sentinel for Irish no longer intercepts C5 when it's being thrown. Now you'll have those choke points, say on exposure, you'll be able to throw C5 through and it'll actually detonate and not be intercepted. Now let's talk soldier health because this has been changed fairly substantially and I think it'll increase your enjoyment of the game if you're an infantry player. The health regen delay for soldiers has been decreased from 7.5 seconds to 6.5 seconds. This is a whole second change and will make it so that you regen health at a lot quicker rate on the battlefield after getting pinged from a random direction. That means that if a random stray bullet decides to hit you from a while away and it is quite annoying when it happens sometimes, you'll be able to regain health faster and that'll seem like less of an issue being pinged from different places. Similarly to this, the actual regen speed has been increased from 5 HP per second to 7.5 HP per second. Same for the regen rate post revive as it's now been matched to the new regen values of 7.5 HP per second. This overall is going to increase a lot of playability for infantry players and make it easier for them to jump back into the battlefield and into the fight quicker than they used to be. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out in terms of gameplay. Penultimately, we have some weapon changes to our new weapons and our new vault weapons. For the AC9, the amount of bullets needed to kill someone with medium ammo between a distance of 50 to 75 meters has been increased from six to seven. This seems like a small change, but that extra bullet always counts and you probably will feel that if you field the AC9. I personally do play this gun quite a bit recently, so we'll see how that feels. It did feel a little strong sometimes at longer ranges despite its spread, so hopefully this will balance it a little more. Similarly to this, when using subsonic ammo for the AC9, the bullets required for a kill has been increased by one beyond 40 meters. Contrastingly to this, the RPT-31, the new LMG, has had its amount of bullets required for a kill under 30 meters reduced from five to four. 
this gun has felt very well mid for me there's no other word for it it hasn't really been too strong of a weapon it's felt very meh so it's interesting to see they've actually given it a buff and hopefully this makes it a little more viable for the M39 EMR and SVD, both of these vault weapons have had their headshot multiplier reduced from 2 times to 1.6 times. Now you might be thinking vault weapons are really underpowered anyway, so why have they received yet another nerf? However, these headshot multipliers meant that at most distances, both of these guns were a one shot to the head, which is kind of ridiculous unless you're fairly close up. Maybe it isn't ridiculous for a more realistic game, but for Battlefield and especially 2042, with so many people on one map, the people running this weapon were absolute beasts if they hit their shots. And they were pretty fast firing with fast travel times, so nice to see this change implemented. And finally, we have the Cav Brawler being fixed with its cosmetics, because before, you couldn't correctly spawn in with the Tier 1 skin or the Water Wheel skin. Now both of these have been fixed, you should be able to use these skins and spawn in fine with the Brawler and use it as intended. Anyway, that just about does it for today. Those are all the changes from 4.0.1 that we found so far or DICE have revealed to us. So let me know down below what you think of this update. Will it change anything for you gameplay wise? Will you even notice it? Do let me know. And if you want to talk to me or anybody else that does love this game, head over to the description and join the No Salt Discord. We'd love to have you there. We're talking everything 2042 all of the time. And if you want to brush up on any of your lore knowledge, take a trip over to the Exodus archives where the entire story and narrative of 2042 is laid out. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Do consider subscribing if you did enjoy today's video. We have VR and Battlefield content here on most days of the week. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.